The Demerara Harbour Bridge reopened to vehicular traffic on Monday night, two days after a Panamanian fuel tanker MV Tradewind Passion collided with the bridge. However, trucks that weigh 12 tons and over are not allowed to cross. This is because two pontoons sustained severe damages following the collision in the wee hours of Saturday. General Manager of the Demerara Harbour Bridge, Wayne Watson, said they are working to replace at least one of the pontoons by the end of this week. They, once we can get the authorities in place, um, and we're trying to do that also, we're trying to resume retraction. So we want to do both simultaneously. Yeah, but both, 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 yeah, we're trying to, if not, we'll do one and then the other one. But we are, we are right now in the, in the planning stage to, to, to see our authorities. The Harbour Bridge suffered the worst damage ever after the vessel collided with it. The closure of the bridge disrupted thousands of commuters. A board of inquiry has since been set up to investigate the incident and has seven days to present its findings and recommendations. And we have established a board of inquiry into this. The board of inquiry would comprise Captain, I think it's Stephen Lewis? Joseph Lewis. Joseph, Joseph Lewis, sorry. Um, who is a Marine officer and a surveyor of ships. Miss Stanley McAllister, who's sitting here. She's the legal director at Marad. Miss Yolanda Hughes, a member of the board and is a staff of Transport and Harbors Department. Inspector Ross from the Marine Wing of the Guyana Police Force, Lieutenant Colonel David Shamshidin, yes, um, from the Coast Guard, um, the Chief Transport and Planning Officer of the Ministry of Public Works, Mr. Patrick Thompson, and Mr. Dimitri Ali, a member of the board of the National Guyana National Shipping Corporation and also an engineer. Minister Edgel commended the local team that has been working to repair the bridge without stop since the incident occurred. The government has since suspended the license of the pilot of the vessel, a Guyanese national who has been working for decades to transport vessels through the Demerara River. His license is likely to be permanently suspended. Based on preliminary investigations, GPS tracking found that the vessel did not follow the designated route through the river. Meanwhile, Andy Duke, the ship supervisor for the Harbour Bridge, suffered a fractured leg following the collision. Duke reportedly warned the pilot moments before the collision. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isinella Patwo.